going to Van Buren, Arkansas. Exit 3. Looks like we got it uh, coming up over the river. Going to a doctor's appointment on a Sunday. Yeah, that's right. VA is sending me to some, some doctor out here. Figured I'd take you along. See if I don't get lost. I, I don't do nav navigation apps or any of that. I do it old school, man. I write it down on a piece of paper and try to memorize it, which, uh, yeah, try for me to memorize something. Yeah, that ain't, doesn't always work. But I think I got this. Now, the last time the VA sent me, I forgot the paper that I wrote the instructions on. And yeah, I never made it because it didn't have the name or any of that. I didn't even remember what road I was looking for. And that was in way up three hours away. Alright, this dude ought to loop around. Heading to Van Buren. I am in unfamiliar territory. Man, they got enough signs, don't they? Wrong way, man. But I'm looking at a light, so... Yeah. Okay. I believe my next turn is going to be a right turn. Uh, and it said Van Buren this way. All right. Wood Street. I'm looking for Wood Street, and that turns into 11th Street. The sun's gonna be right in my peak. And let's see. That's Port Port Road. And I'm supposed to be there at 9:30. It is 8:58. I left early enough in case there was construction, but it's Sunday, so they had all the road open. So I didn't even have any issues with that. Looks like we're going through an industrial area. Van Buren's a pretty old town. I don't. I think we're going to get pretty close to downtown, but I ain't sure. And it looks like a recycling yard there. I'm looking for a road called Fayetteville Road. Hopefully I'm going the right way. I know I'm going the right direction. Dude, you can pass me. I ain't no hurry. With your platinum Ford F-350. How's the gas mileage treating you? There's not a whole lot of traffic on a Sunday. So we'll see. I'll keep you guys on till I get there. Now it took me it was about seven, 65 miles to the exit from where I live. I better start looking for a road. It's going to be like a main drag road. Goes right into it, so 
we're in good shape. But you can't always trust those you Google Maps and all that. So they've steered me wrong before. Or they'll take you on the long way around. how they do it. The road I live on doesn't have one at all. miles wrong direction now we are in Van Buren I did a loop-de-loo when I did it should have did a loop-de-la yeah All right, now let's see how confusing it gets we already been through this I've got 15 minutes. I know you're supposed to get there a little early. Uh, I left it quarter to eight. But I think I'm only about three or four miles from it. I hope. Instead of making the loop, I took a left. Because that's the way it looked on the paper. But I ended up going to the town of Barling. <laughs> this better be right. Alright, here's where I got off. Yeah, I went the wrong, went the wrong way. Ain't the first time. Alright, that sign says Van Buren. Looking for Wood Street. I don't like coming to new places that I've never been. I've been to Van Buren, but like one of them trips where you can just drive all over and you ain't looking for any specific building. Alright, here's Wood Street. I gotta take a ride on this dude. Well, because it's the only way you can go. And this is going to shimmy around. Shimmy pop, shimmy, shimmy, cocoa pop. It's going to turn into 11th. And then what? There's Mary Ellen Drive. No trucks in that. Uh oh. Turned into 11th Street. Then I'm going to turn left on Main Street. Now I'm going to guess that's up yonder. Uh huh. Alright, turn left on Main Street, then right on Fayetteville, and then we're home free. We'll show up right on time. Please be 
be Main Street. You look like a Main Street. You got a bunch of big old buildings. Oh, that's Broadway. What in the name of Bob Jenkins? Maybe it's up here. Well, we're going through here. Closed to trucks. Well, I don't care. I bet this is Main Street, yes sir. North 59, sure is. Yes. see a little bit of downtown they got some really cool buildings all right this should merge into Fayetteville Road yep all I had to do was follow that darn 59 north signs Shimmy bops around. See here? How shimmy bopping? Alright. 619. There it is, right there. I'm gonna guess it. Dentistry. Yep, yep, yep. Well, I made it 20 after. Hey, man. Alright, I'm gonna go in and get me some physical therapy. Physical therapy. And they probably got no big parking spots for this kind of beast. One way, okay. I don't know where to park. Let's go back here. Yeah. They always got no big, yeah, there's some good parking back here. Alright, let's see. Get this beast pulled in. guys later all right guys i was literally in there 10 minutes they sent me all the way here to measure my scar can you believe that and we're back headed back home let me see if i can pick up maybe some shots on uh, van buren they wanted to measure my scar and i got the scar from uh, it's a long story, but a bunch of guys in my unit got mono, mononucleosis, and I got it because it's very contagious. And I had it for like a month, and it weakens your organs. And my spleen uh, swelled up the size of a football, so they took my spleen out. And I was under active duty orders when it happened. So that's why we're claiming that I didn't know you could even claim such a thing but you know it was a medical condition that, that happened when I was in there's a nice view if you guys can see it and it probably shortened my life because when you don't have a spleen you don't have the immune system of a normal person I'm, I have been pretty lucky but we'll have to see but the guy that helped me file it the VA guy in Waldron told me yes you better claim that because it's also in the army medical records so they can't deny it and so that's I'll see if I get back without getting lost 59 go down this road or no it's this road 
So, <laughs> that's all I had to do. Oh, man, I can't go that way. What's going on here? This is confusing. All right, I do know I gotta go this way. What road is this? No, we're good. No, we're not. Well, I know where I'm going, so I ain't gonna get lost. So yeah, all the way here for that. <laughs> Took all of five minutes. Couple questions. Uh, yeah. Come on, you little old speedy Gonzaleses. Just take you back in the Fort Smith. So we'll just take a little ride there. No way to know what the name of that street is, though they don't say. Fort Smith's about 100,000 people. So Van Buren's kind of like a little suburb of it. And Van Buren's not too small. Probably 30,000, 40, I don't know. They don't hang out here much. And we're going over the Arkansas River now. Now we're in Fort Smith. stores in Fort Smith but no liquor sales at all on Sundays this will turn into 71 
Georgia Pacific. I guess that's a paper plant. Pretty good size. There's a lot of industry here. There's uh, some distilleries. That's a big plant. Look how long that thing is. I think this one makes uh, like printer paper and stuff like that. I could be wrong. Because a lot of your newsprint factories, they're going to be near like up in Canada. I think there used to be one in Snowflake, Arizona. I think they're done. This is an older part of Fort Smith, as you can tell. Fort Smith in itself is a pretty old town. Where Judge Roy, the hanging judge, Judge Roy Bean is, well he was. A lot of history. Is that a crackhead? I, uh, it might be. I don't know. It's awfully warm to be wearing that kind of jacket. There's Booger King. Yeah. And as usual, the roads are great. Tire City Economy. Handwritten sign. Medley and Sons Auto Body. Looks like he needs some help. Yeah, if you like rocks, you go to this place we just passed on the left. Probably didn't see it. Fort Smith Stone Company. I could start my own company with my rocks. Another big factory here. Let's see, Cargo International. I don't think that's that. I don't see a sign. It's a steel plant, Merritt Steel. business will turn into 71 and there's Dominguez Insurance. They'll insure anybody, says on the radio. Anybody. I bet. Love to see what their rates are. There's the vapor station coming soon. Whatever that is. School Larry's appliance, and they're still working. Yeah, ain't no particular hurry. I figured I'd take a stroll through town, make a video out of it. Motel, right across from the Flamingo Motel. I bet you them are some fine places to be. Is this a crackhead? No, he's working. He ain't no crackhead. Blowing it right in the street. He ain't too popular with the motorcycle people. Tail woman. My vehicle's a little 
bigger than yours. Boy, we're getting into some sketchiness here. Or maybe not. There's the laundry. Anybody need to do laundry? Mm-hmm. I've been to that boat place. We've had to do redo some seats from my old boss. Driving around Fort Smith can get a little confusing, just the way their roads are. I've been here enough years, I know I don't get lost here. And it's a pretty safe city. You ain't gonna have too many troubles here. crazy it gets you know, one way streets everywhere and they put their turn like that 71 with the arrow they put that stuff way too far ahead of they had that four or five blocks back now we're good now we're good. you'll see some stuff Should go down that way, but I'm gonna go up around this way. This is like the downtown area. Getting this lane hope. That's a big old church. go every which way but loose. Need a guitar? There's Cousin's Guitar Shop right there. You can get Boxsmith right there too. guys well, I'm gonna jump on the freeways up here and uh, this video is probably already long enough so we will see you later all right I'll turn y'all back on for a minute we are on Rogers that's the most congested road it's Sunday so it ain't bad today but it's the busiest road in Fort Smith there's the mall which yeah Ain't much going on in it anymore, but usually when I, like I meet my parents for lunch, we'll come here. Uh, Ollie's is right back there. I should stop in there. I ain't got no money, because YouTube didn't pay us on the 21st. We gotta wait till tomorrow. If uh, the 21st falls on a Saturday or a weekend, you don't get paid till after, until the following Monday. So, I ain't using no credit cards. Oh, we're almost to the freeway. But usually any kind of business, uh, if I gotta come to Fort Smith, or doctor visits, it's usually on this road. There's the Mexican restaurant I usually meet my parents at. Looks like they painted it. And I'm gonna jump along the freeway up here. We'll go for a little bit. Took the long way. Got Jaha 
Hobby Lobby or Mickey D's. And I jump on right here. Denny's. Man, I haven't had Denny's breakfast in I don't know how many years. Probably 20 years. on uh, my other channel watch tall mountain living you will notice uh, I don't you know I don't put music on there because even though I'm paying for the service uh, for music they keep copywriting me and those companies you can't even contact there's no customer service so I'm just not gonna put music on there and I already canceled the payment for that channel you can't subscribe to a music service and put it on different channels. It only can go on one channel. So, I'm just, and then I got on YouTube with looking at their, that's so confusing now what they did. Some songs you can, you got to pay for, some songs are free, but they're lame. So, I'm just not going to put music on that channel. I'm surprised they haven't copyrighted me for the intro, because that's from that service. So, no, no music on Washtaw Mountain Living, which I'm kind of trying to get away from putting a lot of music on my videos anyway. They don't, there's, you know, time lapses, you, they're good to have, but you don't need music half the time. Alright, y'all don't want to see me trucking down a freeway.